Hi Aries, welcome to your week ahead taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your sun, moon and ascendant sign. So if you're a sun, moon or rising sign Aries, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they speak to you. Uh, if you are a continued subby, you know Raffi loves you. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button before we start. I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So for your key to the week this week, you have the world card. So in a lot of ways there is big growth and expansion, there's a big step forward or something in your world is going to move this week Aries. Um, what I love about this for you as well actually, there's a sense here that there is um, either somebody in your community is going to reach out or somebody in your personal ecosystem is trying to assist you or help you this week and I would say this to you because it comes up through the world card you would be wise to take this counsel whether this is somebody giving you advice whether it's somebody that wants to help you whether it's somebody saying look you know what let's get this done like if you've got a problem or a challenge that you've been working on or through for some time the world card basically says that the help that you need comes from your own community, it comes from your people, uh, it comes from whatever you consider to be your tribe and if that is the case take the help when it is offered all right so whatever you're asked to do this week and it may come in that way someone says look i need you to do this for me because i want to do this this and this for you uh, so whatever it is that you're asked for this week just get it done all right you that's aries all over anyway like when they say i'm gonna do something they just get it done <laughs> sometimes even you know when people maybe don't want them to do something so this week let that work for you rather than against you for your actions and options this week you have the full card there there is a new beginning here, a fresh start for you personally, and you will feel this. I mean, look, it might be the start of a new relationship of some sort. It might be the start of a new connection that comes in. It may be the start of a fresh era for you in some way, shape or form. Just wanna say, if you are celebrating this week, a happy damn birthday to you. Don't forget to, to spend the day of your solar return doing a little bit of everything that you want the next 12 months to have in it for you. So what is that? What do you envision it to look like or to be? The fact that you have the full card here in your actions and options, this means you in some way shape or form this week you have a chance to start again you get a fresh uh, a fresh perspective you get a do-over you get to go in a new direction if you haven't seen the weekly general please check it out it's a very good one this week even if I do say so myself. Um, but yeah, really, this week you get to start over. Now, one thing that I was not lost on me at all, you've got the world card there, which is the completion point of the major arcana, and you have the full card here in your actions and options that is working with, for, and around you. And this is like literally alpha and omega energy. There's definitely a sense that something has the ability to come full circle for you this week. And I will say this to you, be open to the chops and changes because you might be very surprised at where things take you. For your communications and conversations, you have the six of cups. All right, so this is nice. Um, if you have any siblings, this could be a week where there is a connection or a reconnection with siblings this week. It's definitely possible. It could also be a week where you are finding what it is that you are ready to create, or maybe you're finding the right person to help you put that out into the world in some way, shape or form. Now, another way that this could play out for you, for those of you that work for yourselves, uh, sorry, for those of you that work for others, um, this could be a satisfactory progression when it comes to the work. So you might be entrusted with something by a superior or a boss. Maybe you are tapped on the shoulder this week in some way, shape or form to head a project of some kind. Definitely possible, but it suggests that you're at the head of a team or you are a part of a team. Maybe you're being put or maneuvered into a new position of some sort, but this week is just gonna be the preliminary. It's like they wanna see how you do. So remember what I said, like this is a new beginning or a fresh start for you and whatever help you are asked for, whatever, you know, whatever is requested of you this week, 
um, don't you know give it the just do what is being asked of you because you may get so much more out of it than than what you expect uh, for those of you that work for yourselves business owners entrepreneurs solopreneurs really this week it's going to be about networking uh, it's not necessarily about what you know it's not even about what you have this week it's about who you know and how you can connect to the people that you come into contact with connection is going to be key this week it absolutely is especially because in a lot of ways i will say it's the full card it does suggest that maybe you are either taking a leap of faith or you're out of your comfort zone uh, which is you know this is a good thing because aries is very brave anyway it's a very brave sign so you know all good for your money and materials you have the four of pentacles so there is movement when it comes to the finances or not movement as it as the case may be um so here it suggests that there is some change happening to the home as into the the physical home whether this is a spring clean whether it's a tidy out getting rid of rubbish whether it is a do-over redecorating etc but the interesting thing is you've got help to do it it's like it's not coming on its own it's it's not like you're just expected to do this while you've got everything else going on there's help and support here which is great uh, when it comes specifically to your finances, this could be a good week for you because it suggests that you are either finding some new revenue stream or creating one for yourself. Um, in some way, shape or form, the finances are steady this week. It's, there's no spikes upward, but there's no drops downward either. Like the finances are steady, but it's like you're going in a new direction financially that is, uh, or professionally rather, that is going to bring you almost like a new a new outlook when it comes to the finances. Something is changing there, um, but I just get the sense that it's it's gonna be a very slow build or a very slow burn. And then finally, for your health and vitality, the four of pentacles is your, um, would be your neck, your throat, your voice, this whole sort of general area. Another way that this can play out for you as well, this would be a good week for you to look after your liver and your gallbladder. Uh, this isn't to say that you have any issues there, but um, if any do arise on that physical level, those may be places that you wanna check. For your uh, love and relations, you have the five of pentacles. So if there has been somebody in the picture, and I'm speaking directly to those of you that are, um, you know, that you've had kind of flirtations, you know, early stage relations, I'm not talking about established sort of bonds here. Um, this, if I'm completely honest with you, it does suggest that something that is very new, um, that you kind of always wondered where is this going it's not going to take off this is kind of the week where it, it it will come to an end and I think in a lot of ways this is a good thing because it's going to give you time and energy to focus on what really matters and what is actually more important than this at the, this moment in time for those of you that are um in uh, married or in established sort of relationships and bonds the five of pentacles and i have to say this i've experienced the five of pentacles many a time and i can tell you without a doubt when it shows up especially consistently in readings the message is always very clear your money's about to take a nosedive for those of you that are married or in partnerships something to do with your children if you have them or possibly a sibling is going to end up costing you money this week um, if your partner already has a shaky relationship with their uh, siblings or you know with the children somewhere along these lines the money is going to find a challenge from those places. So it may very well be that you have to be the strong hand on the tiller to say, look, you know what? We can't do this or we can't foot the bill for this, but it's gonna be really important for you to keep your eyes peeled this week. Um, because I kind of feel like whatever financial challenge comes up, it comes from the external world. And it, as I say the external world, um, it comes from uh, uh, likely a familial tie so this could be uh, like I said siblings or children one of them is going to get themselves into a bit of a financial debacle and it's almost like you're expected to foot the bill whether you can or can't you know only you can decide but it's just something to to really keep an eye on with that said i wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff it looks like a very interesting week for you guys let me know in the comments how it shapes up take care and i'll see you soon